I'm going to show you how to use Adobe Premiere to transcribe your video and then create captions for YouTube because it's super important and the algorithm actually is touted to reward videos that do have subtitles on the video because there is the hearing impaired and we should help everybody in regards to accessibility online. You know, I have a funny phrase that we're all temporarily enabled, right? So one day we might need those rails on the doors. Anyway, diving in here, Adobe Premiere is amazing. I have the master collection and in Premiere, uh, you have the editing suite. You'll have your main uh, Premiere timeline here and whatnot, and you'll have it all laid out. Now, the one thing is, is you have to find the transcribing and captions area. So you could go up here to help and do a search and type in, you know, transcribe, right? And then it'll say, you know, auto transcribe sequence. So in regards to that, you can go to auto transcribe sequence right from the sequence dropdown, or you can go right here to captions, change it to a captions and graphics layout. And then over here, where you see usually effect controls, you'll actually just dive right in and you just kind of, you keep clipping, you know, clicking over and, and taking a look around here. And then right here, you'll see text. And then this is where it'll have the outline here. So you'll notice that if you, if you, you um, click on transcript, there's an area, you click on caption, there's an area. But the trick is you have to click on your actual uh, sequence here in your timeline. And that's the primary thing that you need to do so that you can get your transcript. And the, it all begins with actually creating the transcript. And so it, it gives you the option right here. So let's just click on it and see what happens. It talks about, you know, which um, audio to track, you know, to, to select. And I'm going to go mix English language. It has transcribed in and out points only, um, which I've already set those. So that's okay. I do recommend always setting in and out points for editing in general uh, for when you're rendering and pre-rendering to cache. And then recognizing when different speakers are talking, that's a fun one too. And so you can give you different people that are speaking within the dialogue um, of the um, captions. Right now, I'm, I know that this is just me talking, so I'm just gonna go a basic transcribe here and let it run. And I'm telling you, before it's even done, like I know I've, I've done this about three times now and I'm adding it. I used to actually pay, uh, you know, sequences or, or places online um, to actually transcribe at, uh, you know, I think it's like a dollar a minute. Yeah, there's there's different um, locations out there. I'll put some links in the um, comments below. So if you don't have Premiere, you can also use very affordable transcribing services to create these SRT files. Um there's a lot of fantastic. So I'm just going to let this run. Then I'm going to continue speaking so um, I can uh, show and tell. Okay, now that the transcription's done, you'll notice over here that it's unknown. And um, you've got all the text here. And you can actually do a test. You can just back it up and, and play. You wanted it. Here it is. I'm going to show you in this video how to get all these cables connected from your DJI RSC2. Do you see how it kind of changed? If you want to like change things, you double click on here and then you can change RSC2 and you can put it like, you know, it's a, if it's a specific acronym, um, you can do that and then just click off it and then it'll bake it in and you can go through your text and just make sure that things are um, as correct as possible because sometimes it forgets or it doesn't forget it. The algorithm can't tell um, if it's a comma or a period sort of thing, but it does a fantastic job. So like, um, let's let's play here. So, oops, beast. Your car, your camera or below? You want to put it below, of course, because the stability of things. I got like a Sigma tw uh, uh, fourteen to twenty-four. On so that would be a long sentence, right? But I mean, like somebody's reading this. They're reading it along the video on YouTube, and so you can do a certain amount of um, USB C to USB. Yeah, and just make sure that it sounds correct. I would recommend going through it just a one-time sort of thing, and as you drag the timeline, it shows you here, and you can just make sure that it's, you know, succinct to, you know, what it, you know, should. You, you want We want it to be nice for the people that are reading it. But the one thing is I like to create the edit the speakers, and I like to um, set myself um, speaking um, just to say who it is. It's nice to have a narrative, narrative book narration. And it'll update that. So now it's transcribed. So part two is 
creating the, the captions within here because that's not it yet. You could export this right now, export the transcript as a CSV, but we're looking for a different um, file type. So, oops, let's just go here. And now we can create the captions right here. And if you click that, it will go default caption. There's a whole bunch of different types here if you, if you need to do that and the style of it and then minimum duration and length um, gap between captions and frames if you need to do that. How many double lined or single? I'm, I'm okay with the, the default and I'll just go create. And it happens pretty fast, guys. And boom, bada bing. These are it. <laughs> you wanted it, here it is, literally. Okay, watch this. You wanted it, here it is. I'm going to show you in this video how to get all these cables connected from your DJI RSC2 to your Sony A7 IV and to your... Like, it's amazing. And, like, going here, you can still edit the... Um, the, the um, trans transcription and continue on and keep editing things even if you missed it on the transcription. It's absolutely amazing. Like that's it in a nutshell. And now if you wanna export this, you just go here and there's the good old SRT file. So I like to send these to my specific area um, of where I uh, made the video. Um, so let's do that with the Raven Eye one and get her in there. Do, 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 do. Oops. Here we go. This is the one. And then I was making output folder and I put it in. Now I like to keep everything with wording correctly on the files because I think it's all about how you, you label things. So there it is. It's on SRT captions. You go save. Boom, bada, bing, done. Now... Let me show you where to place this SRT file in YouTube. So let's go over to YouTube and I'll show you here. So this is the specific video. You go in to edit your video. And once in your video, you know, you've got all your descriptions all down over here on the right hand side, you have subtitles. So you go into the subtitles area here of your YouTube video and you go upload file. If you need to know about, you know, the different formats and stuff, you can see the support, but it does speak to uh, primary one of the SRT. There are different ones for different languages and stuff like that. There's even an auto sync function, but I like to use um, professional services for this to be succinct for my channel. So without timing or with. So if you just like, you could only get a transcription service, hey, that'll work, but, um, and it'll try to figure it out. But with timing, we've got it. So you continue and you go and find your Wow, and there it is, and you go upload, takes a second, you can even test it. You wanted it, here it is. I'm gonna show you in this video how to get all these cables connected from your DJI RSC2 to... Come on, that is absolutely stunning, isn't it? So now you go done up here, make sure to do that so it bakes it in, because when you go back here in your video, you don't have to resave. That's really it in a nutshell. If you have any questions please leave them in the descriptions below or or the description or and please remember to subscribe i love to communicate with my audience and ask or answer any questions um i look forward to communicating with you anyway thank you very much and i'll see you in another video